What ideas come to mind when you hear the word metaverse? Some may have opinions, while others are completely unaware of what the metaverse is all about. The word metaverse was coined by author Neil Stevenson in his 1992 science fiction novel Snow Crash. In this video, we'll discuss the guy who coined the term metaverse and his efforts to create his own metaverse. So, how is that possible? We'll watch this video until the end to learn more about Neil Stevenson's metaverse. Firstly, what is the metaverse? In futurism and science fiction, the metaverse is a fictitious version of the internet that exists as a single, ubiquitous, and immersive virtual environment made possible by the usage of virtual reality (VR) and augmented reality (AR) headgear. A metaverse is a network of 3D virtual environments centered on social connection. For instance, Mark Zuckerberg bet the future of Facebook on the metaverse in July 2021, renaming the business Meta and pledging to spend billions of dollars to reassemble a metaverse platform as a sign of his seriousness. He is not alone. Other businesses are also developing their ideas for the metaverse, which is thought to be the upcoming iteration of the internet. The term metaverse is ambiguous, but it's typically used to refer to virtual worlds where individuals interact with one another, conduct business, and have fun as digital avatars of their real selves. Well, the metaverse is a fictional depiction of what technological infrastructures of the future would be when virtual reality, augmented reality, fast internet access, and some kind of concept of a virtual place are all combined. You might interact with other people. So the simple answer to the question, what is the metaverse, is, well, it's the next iteration of the computing future. While the more complex response is, of course, it's a tale about how we see the universe. So, how did the metaverse start? Metaverse technology components have previously been developed in online video games. The 2003 virtual world platform Second Life is often described as the first metaverse because it integrated numerous features of social media into a persistent three-dimensional world with the user represented as an avatar. But historical claims of metaverse development began soon after the term was developed. There is a case to be made that the metaverse already exists. Early projects encompass active worlds and the palace. Popular games considered as part of the metaverse include Habbo Hotel, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, Fortnite, VR Chat, and game creation platform Roblox, which has since used the word extensively in marketing. The metaverse is promoted by Meta and other businesses as an advancement of the internet. It's a concept that has been discussed for years and has even been tried, a virtual environment that mirrors our existence in the real world. One more perspective on the metaverse is that it has always been in various areas of the world, right? Therefore, whether you are a gamer or part of another type of online community, whether you played multiplayer or extremely immersive games, you were engaging in gaming experiences. So, what motivated Stevenson to create what he did? In the domain of computing, Stevenson is credited with both the invention and popularization of the terms metaverse and avatar. His writing in this area is among my favorites. Did you know that Stevenson is especially prescient with Diamond Age? Well, yes, and that Snow Crash and Cryptonomicon, which were books he wrote 20 years ago. However, his most recent works are likewise spot on. He has a tremendous talent for reflecting extensively on the patterns, reshaping the world, and then extrapolating somewhat in the future to understand what is about to occur. I simply don't understand how he does it. The fact that his work feels both foresighted and futuristic, in my opinion, makes it particularly unique. Although it doesn't seem that far off, it is just different enough to give the impression that it is fantasy. But as time passes, you can just tell how current all of his insights have been. Up next, what piqued Neil's attention as a child, and how did he end up doing what he is doing now? According to him, well, it's a funny thing about people. Whatever you experience day to day while you're growing up, you think it's normal until you get out into the wide world and see that it's not. Neil was born on October 31st, 1959 at Fort Meade, Maryland. His parents are both engineers scientist types, and just where he grew up, that was true of the parents of almost all of the other kids around him. That was the air that he was breathing. He had typical boyhood interests as a result of his experiences as a child. He experimented with various things, flew model rockets and airplanes, and had a long list of other hobbies in addition to wanting to be an astronaut. That was his way of life up to the time he turned 17 and enrolled in college after finishing high school. How did his love for writing start? Well, the first book that he wrote came out of nowhere. He was still in college college at that time when Neil was living in a slum apartment in Boston and had no money. Spring break rolled around. He was unable to move about. Neil wrote a brief fantasy story while simply sitting on the couch by himself for 10 days. It had never been made public. Definitely not. 
but that revealed to him something he had previously been unaware of, namely that he is capable of sitting down and creating a book. Now, he is an American author, best recognized for his works of speculative fiction. His novels have been classified as science fiction, historical fiction, cyberpunk, post-cyberpunk, and baroque. Up next, what does Stevenson's work delve into? Stevenson's work delves into mathematics, encryption, linguistics, philosophy, currency, and the history of science. He also contributes nonfiction essays on technology to magazines such as Wired. He has collaborated on novels with his uncle, George Jewsbury, J. Frederick George, under the pen name Stephen Barry. Stephen's writing is well known in the technological community. His work is admired by Bill Gates, Sergey Brin, John Carmack, and Peter Thiel. Stevenson created the phrase metaverse and popularized the term avatar in a technological setting in Snow Crash. The metaverse influenced the creators of Google Earth, and Snow Crash was essential reading for Microsoft executive J. Allard's Xbox development team. Snow Crash, according to Professor Paul Youngquist, was also a killer blow to the cyberpunk genre. Cryptonomicon is generally recognized as drawing the basis for cryptocurrencies, according to Publishers Weekly. Up next, how will Neil Stevenson go with his attempts to build his own metaverse? Neil Stevenson, the author of Snow Crash and a forerunner of cyberpunk, is collaborating with a crypto bro to develop an open metaverse platform that, according to its developers, will be a more decentralized version of the kinds of big tech metaverses like those managed by Fortnite and Facebook. It's like Neil is coming down out of the mountains like Gandalf to restore the metaverse to an open, decentralized, and creative order, said robotics and augmented reality entrepreneur Roni Abovitz, who is also acting as a strategic advisor to Lamina One, the company Stevenson is co-founding with Bitcoin Foundation head Peter Vesinus. Neil Stevenson, the author of the book Snow Crash that introduced the concept of the metaverse, and Peter Vesinus, the creator of the Bitcoin Foundation, have combined their enormous talents to produce something truly amazing, a blockchain designed from the ground up for the metaverse of the future. Lastly, why are Stevenson and Vesinus building up their own metaverse? Therefore, it is sort of implied in the metaverse, as it is presented in Snow Crash, that there must be an economy that supports all of this. It is said to be a sort of decentralized system. There isn't something like the metaverse company or the Wayland Utani of the metaverse, which sits atop everything and is the conduit for all payments. They intend to establish more anonymous, decentralized payment methods based on their plan, a foundational blockchain protocol that is equivalent to the technical, economic, and philosophical roots of the metaverse concept itself. An open and expanding virtual universe is necessary for the metaverse to fulfill its potential. To deliver on that promise, Web3-based Layer 1 blockchain technology called Lamina 1 was developed for the metaverse by Bitcoin pioneer Peter Vesnes and noted futurist Neil Stevenson. As an alternative, Lamina 1 suggests a more up-to-date and integrated Web3 ecosystem and community as the first foundational element of a fully open metaverse. High transaction volumes in an economic structure with novel incentive mechanisms will be provided by the provably carbon negative Lamina One chain to support the development of thriving dynamic economies for creators and businesses. Roni Abovitz, Jeff Entris, Jeremy Giffen, Bing Gordon, James Haft, Reed Hoffman, David Johnson, Joseph Lubin, Patrick Merck, Matthew Rozak, Tihan Seal, Peter Vesinus, and Wu Ying are among the original investors in Lamina One. The official launch of Lamina One will take place at Consensus 2022, presented by Coindesk. Lamina One will become the go-to place for this generation's most innovative thinkers, those who are developing the future's digital societies. Thanks to its chain technology, cryptographic approach, and substantial intellectual property collaborations to be announced during 2022, it is the world's first blockchain that can be proven to be carbon negative. There you have it, guys. We really hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button button below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our similar upcoming content. Let us know down in the comments section what you think about the metaverse. Thanks for watching.